Well, probably no one right now, but I have just started streaming. I'm gonna give it a moment to see who is here. All right, I'm bringing up the chat. Okay, so the chat is up. I don't quite hear yet. So I am going to get started. Sure, here. One second. Testing the stream here, making sure I'm good. And I'm going to start the game. Yep, we're good. Okay. Just sound off as you show up. That's probably me. Okay. So. For anyone who was watching last time, uh, or wasn't watching last time. We left off. We fought a big a, a, a robot man thing that uh, Because that volume was still a little loud. It did Tom did tell me that the um, that the volume was a little loud last time. So yeah, it's a little bit better. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I there. I'm supposed to go back in towards like the main city, but there's a quest out here. I'm just gonna, I don't remember what it is, but it's like right outside the main desert area. So I'm gonna check on that first and then we will go back to the main story. These guys, as you remember, will not attack us unless we, well, they won't attack us at all even if we attack them at this point. Um, Oh, hey, Chief. Okay. I thought that was me that was showing up in the chat, in the chat, but I guess it's you, so. Uh, yeah, so, like I said, we're gonna go, I'm gonna go to this, back to this main desert area. There's a little offshoot that we can go to. Um, I did kind of, I roamed around and killed some enemies. I didn't really progress any of the story uh, or anything yet, because I knew that there was a... There was an area that I kind of missed in the desert, and I just wanted to check it out. Um, but I, uh, there is a story mission, or a side mission over here, so I wanted to just check that out first before I did anything else. So, some more robots down in here. Kill. I also wanted to check and see if the DLC, um, was working because there was a problem with the DLC whenever I tried it before I started streaming the first time. So they need to use control pen. Um, and basically what it, what it is is that if you, if for some reason, if you, if you download the game, you download the DLC, um, and you have a save file already, but you delete, like, because, I mean, I only have one of the 500 gig PS4s, which means you're constantly having to delete stuff off of it just because you never have any fucking room, which is 
my biggest complaint with like next gen system well like current gen systems right now um so it's nice to have the terabyte uh xbox one i find that really nice but um so when you do that it like doesn't it doesn't put the dlc back in there's like a problem with it or something so I don't know what the problem is, but I just know that there's a problem, so. Oh, okay, this is just a uh, map point. Okay, so that's just a map point. Also, you can fish in areas. Um. I'll show you that a little bit. Um, you just throw your pot out and you wait for it to like start bobbing and then you just cast it in, so. And I got a fish. Yeah, I just, uh, I don't have a, a, a external hard drive. I should probably get one, Chief. Um, but it's just, I, I don't feel like having, like, you don't have to have everything because there's never, I have so many stuff between, especially for Xbox One, I have so much stuff that was backwards compatible from 360 that it just didn't, it didn't make sense for me to have it all on there anyway. So I'm, my thought is like, <clears throat> if I ever want to play it, I'll just re-download it, which is not the best option, but... I understand, but <clears throat> that's just my compromise from having to go out and buy a external hard drive or anything. I should probably get one for the P for my PS4 just because I only have a, a you know a 500 gig, and there I have a lot of stuff on there too. Um, in fact, I probably have a lot more stuff on. Even with all the backwards compatible stuff, I probably have more on PS4 than I do <clears throat> my Xbox One. Although there were a few games that I bought specifically on Xbox One because I had more memory on that for a while. But even my terabyte Xbox One is running out of room. <clears throat> I just got ReCore um, not too long ago for that and I got well, I had um, I had a copy of Lost Odyssey, which is backwards compatible, which is a uh, like a like a JRPG. It's one of the few really good JRPGs for for Xbox 360, and it was backwards compatible. And I bought it somewhere for like 20 bucks because it was like kind of hard to find at the time. I was like, oh, I'll buy this, and like went to go put it in the system, and it just didn't read. So I was like, fucking pissed. So I, f I took it to a guy, a guy in Greensburg who owns a shop, because I know like anytime I go there, I'm like he like oh I'll buff this game up for you, before, like if you buy one. So I went up one time. I was like, hey, if I bring a game in, will you just like buff it out for me so I can actually play it? He's like, yeah, I don't care. So I went up and like sold some stuff and like bought some other stuff. So let me get some bodies. Yes, it had it had like th um, for those either watching or not looking at the the chat. Um, basically, oh, the other thing that happened is if you talk to this guy, he gives you um, he gives you some like some gold and some other stuff for helping Jackass. Don't go trying to be. A and then she just says that. Um, so that's the only other little story thing that happened, but, but yeah, it's on four desk, but the, Ooh. the thing with, um... I think we've earned a breather. Say 2B, I was hoping we could talk about our next move. I'm worried about the damage we took in that last battle with the machines. Maybe we should return to the resistance camp to resupply and conduct maintenance? All right, let's go back. Okay, okay. let's do the thing. So that that was basically like you were in the desert, you have to come back through here. So that basically just pushes you back to the resistance camp. 
Um, but the thing with, with um, backwards compatible games is that even if they're on more than one disc, you only need the first disc to, to run it. And then basically, it, that is basically their way of like, oh, you have the game. So it basically just downloads the whole game and j you just have to have the disc to make sure it recognizes that you own it. Which is, I, I mean, I guess that's how you have to get around it, but... Because even for a 360 game, like, it still had, like... I mean, even if it had four discs, that's a big-ass fucking game. I mean, you could probably carry all of that on a... On a... PS, uh... Over here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I got a text from... Someone it distracted me for a moment for my video games. Okay, so we're just going back to resistance camp right now. Um, I'm not always going to stop and pick up bodies because. I don't think it's always necessary. Like, if I was playing, if I wasn't streaming, I probably would just because I like picking up every little thing in games like this. Um, but you don't want to see me do that for everything, so. We'll pick up items I find. Oh, the other thing, I wanted to show you this, so. Um caught fish. So there's the fish. So an aquatic machine can be exchanged for money. So that is actually a machine fish. So because there are machines in this world, they've also kind of like duplicated fish and put them in the environment. So you will find like actual fish and then you can also find machine fish, which I always thought was kind of funny and weird um so I, I probably won't do a lot of that there is one section I'm gonna there's like one or two sections I will do that in um just because uh um there are certain, one of them is like a oh one of them is a certain thing that you uh there's like kind of weapons and other things you could find while fishing the other thing I did find is uh I found a new pod that you can find in the desert that instead of shooting like the regular bullets, it shoots uh, missiles. So if you hold it down, it'll kind of like lock on target missiles, people. So that was the only other real thing I found. Machine fish does sound like a bad 80s band. Yeah, that that is that does that sounds right. So she just gave us a room here for not really any reason, but that was just kind of us finishing the quest of helping out Jackass in the desert. Um, let me talk to some of these people. Didn't want to talk to her because I think, um, oh yeah, you can upgrade your pod, but I don't have anything to upgrade it yet. Uh, these are, like, instead of using the laser, you can buy other attacks for it. Um, I also want to buy the, as much of these as I can. So, I don't have a ton of gold right now, but after a while, like, if you go around killing enough robots, you will have plenty of money. So, I'm going to get as much of, much storage as I can so I can put in new chips. I'm going to do that real quick too. Uh, plug in chips. So now I have a bit more room. Um, yeah, and you can make different sets so you can like switch them on the fly. Um, do, 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 do. So I have some auto use, taunt up, evade range up. I want to put max HP. I can't put counter in there. I already have a counter? I don't think I do. 
think I took my counter off. Shockwave is good. Max HP. It's only one HP. Offensive heal. Auto use. Um, shockwave. Um, give me a second. All chips, this is what I want to do. So, I do want my counter on there. And then you can, the other nice thing is you can find chips of the same type, but they will have, like, instead of taking up, like, a slot of 11, they'll take up a slot of, like, 10 or 9. So, that's kind of nice, too. So, that's the save point. Yeah, permission, remember? Plus, you're stationed here for a while, so I'm go mess. No point of turning it down. So it's basically just like you have your own room, and there's stuff you can get in here. So I got a luck upgrade. Do you want to take a break? That's... You literally just lay down. That's it. Do you want to save? Yes. Do you want to continue the game? So it's one of those things where you can like stop and like <clears throat> it'll shove you back to the menu if you've played for a while, so it's a nifty little thing, so. Volt proof salve. Those are those are items you can use that will like you'll do less electricity damage or shit like that, so. Operator to 9S. This is 9S. Go ahead. I have an incoming message for 2B and 9S from the commander. Initiating playback. 2B, 9S. We've lost contact with several Yorha units that were on their way to the surface. Their black boxes are online, so we presume they're still alive. We've tracked the location of their signals, so I need all Yorha units on the surface to head over and investigate. End transmission. <laughs> I heard something about that back at the resistance camp. Target location confirmed. I'm worried about the other androids. We should probably check this out as soon as possible. Okay, so this is like your first... Well, I guess after the desert, this is like your first big mission, but... Um, Chief said, yeah, 9S just stands there and stares at you while you're, uh, while you're not doing it, while you're sleeping. So he may be a good boy, but he's a bit of a creep too. That's all right. So I really like this area that's coming up here. Looks like our surface route's been cut off. Maybe we can get through from underground. And that's exactly what you have to do. You have to go into the sewer. Uh, dank, dank so, sewer. Be, those machines out in the desert look just like androids, right? Right. But we androids were modeled after our human creators. So why would machines try to look like us? Hmm. There's no point trying to work out unsolvable problems. I suppose. So Come this is one of the areas sure. where I'm going to fish. Because there's a weapon you can get in here. Oh, yeah, there's a flashlight. Um, it's not even a weapon that I'd probably use, but it's one of those, like, if you want to get all the weapons, it's just there to have, so I'll see if I can get it pretty quickly, if or not. Move on and just try it off stream. Hypothesis. Garbage. So, yeah, you can, you can fish for literal garbage, too. Um, which is kind of funny. But you can sell that kind of stuff at, like, the resistance camp. In fact, the fish is, are, you can sell, too. Um, I'll try this one more time if I don't get anything. Catch complete. Yeah, let's just go for right now. Um... The box. I don't want to bore you too much with watching me fish. 
So there is, I know that there's a secret in here somewhere. Okay, that's where I'm supposed to go. I think that's where I'm supposed to go. I thought there was another ladder you could go up before I go up here. Oh wait, it is. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I gotta go past this. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Alright. Come up here, and this is just like a little area. But you come in here, and there's a sword. Virtuous dignity. Let's see what that is. Weapons, weapons. All weapons. Virtuous contract, virtuous treaty, virtuous dignity. So that's a spear. That's one of the other weapon types. Um, let's equip that. Let's see. Equip. Um, uh, we'll equip it there for right now. So that'll be our second. There's your spear. <laughs> I haven't done that before. Went straight through the damn sewer. Okay. Keep trying to hit X to pick it up. So now we're at the amusement park. Oh, isn't that nice? Those. What the? Well, this is weird. Let's be happy together, together, together. So yeah, they're just, they're not hurting anything, so you don't even have to do anything with them. So I'm going to leave them alone for right now. You can't talk to these guys. Yeah, welcome to Not Disney World. <laughs> So yeah, he just gives you something. Um, yeah, let's just move on for right now. Oh, I got mail. So yeah, you can talk to some of these these guys. These are all, um, um, like crafting items that'll help you craft, like, upgrade weapons and such. Those are the flowers. I forgot about that. Okay. I think there's something up here. I'm gonna go up here real quick. <coughs> there's bouts. Recovery. Or nothing. Where does this corridor lead? So if you keep trying to go up the main way there, he uh you can't the gate is locked, so break time. Alright. 
Mm. We're getting resistance signals from that building over there. Yeah, so you have to get inside the the major amusement park. Here's the map information. Let's quick save. Um, remember the thing I tell you about Gina for Fortress Telling? I had girls in R&D do it for me, and I got the worst rings possible for health work and love. <laughs> it's a bunch of occult crap. So, the operator. If you don't we remember, there was something she Let's was talking about, like fortune telling or something. And she basically just like, oh, it came up stupid, so I don't believe in it. So, she called it like occult crap or something like this. Oh, damn it. Okay. I'm usually going to do okay on this. This thing over here. So he's basically warning you that there's Yeah, like that isn't fucking creepy. These machines are heavily armed. We'll regret it later if we let them escape. So let's take them out. So, um, there is a thing that happens later if you destroy this thing, so... I am gonna attack this one, so... And it's not particularly difficult. You have to watch out for some of its attacks, but... It's usually not too bad, so... I hate these bouncing ones. They suck. Uh, like in a corner. I just said as long as you're careful and then I start acting like a dipshit. Come on. Almost done. Alright. That wasn't too bad. What's this? Some kind of crystal? Analysis. It is a core fragment from the machine life form. It is similar in structure to a plant cell. A plant cell? Yeah, so those you get from like larger uh, enemies and um... Those will basically help you upgrade your weapons and stuff. <laughs> yeah, the I guess the line is probably pretty short. Twenty gold. Come on, give me more money than that shit. Okay. So we're gonna get on the damn ride. What's this? Analysis. It is a device that propels humans on rails at high speeds for the purposes of amusement. <laughs> it was commonly referred to as a roller coaster. Humans sure are strange creatures. 
We sure are. Nine S, you pretty boy. Hey, two B. Yes. People who know me well usually call me Nine. So. Oh. So what do you think? Oh. Uh. I mean, if you want to call me Nine, it's totally okay. I'm good. Oh. Um. I don't want to call you Nine oh. S because you're stupid and I dislike you. So this is a nice little mini fight on the roller coaster. Kind of does well with the 2D, 2D aesthetic that they've got going on. All right, drop down in here. Right. Multiple resistance members detected beneath this room. Yeah, I guess it would be hard to hear him if he's on top of a giant roller coaster. Alright, let's pick up some more shit. Auto heal. Tame. Okay. Alright. Enjoy this nice cutscene. So look at that horrible monstrosity. And it's got dead androids all over it, so that's not weird. What the hell? Our records don't say anything about a machine like this. Yeah, I guess not, 9S. Let's get this so we can uh Fuck, fuck. Okay, that's what I wanted. Okay. This boss is not the easiest. Oh shit, I'm a fucking stupid. I keep forgetting that goddamn thought. Uh, this is the worst. I hate this part. Yeah. Look out for the lasers, you guys. Yeah, just target 9S. I don't give a shit about him right now. Oh, fuck. <gasps> Quit laughing, you creepy ass thing. God, if, uh, I forgot she starts doing this. Ugh. <laughs> I think I'll have that auto heal on. Is that? I'm just doing crap right now. So I get some of the other abilities you get later on. I just start to suck. New phase. Okay, so now this is the new thing that happens. She's trying to hack you to cause damage right now. So you're in a hacking minigame. And you're welcome for the nightmares, by the way. Of the cackling giant we take opera damage, demon. It'll affect our bodies as well. <laughs> Tubi! <laughs> Tubi! 
So those are alive androids that it kept alive that it starts to use as a fucking weapon. Are we seriously so, being attacked with dead androids? Wait, I don't think... 2B, I'm detecting black box signals. They are dead. They've been turned into weapons. All right, this ends now. Yeah, so that's what happens. She turns them into weapons, so they start... They start attacking you with, like, noise shit, so you gotta kill them. They're not even fucking fully dead yet. Which is, like, fucking weird, man. It's just weird. See? They see? And when, so that's when they started hacking you. If you get hit three times during a hacking minigame, then you lose and you take a shit ton of damage. Oh, God. Fuck. God. Uh, this camera angle is, is not doing me much justice right now, so I apologize. I'm looking like a fucking fool. I've almost analyzed the enemy's hacking pattern. I'm going to try to hack it back. Keep it busy. You got it. I need to be more beautiful. -ish. Damn fucking missiles. Come on. Oh, oh my god. Okay, okay, hold on. Fucking destroy that thing before it hits me with those fucking rays. God, the fuck! Oh, I hate this. This is the worst part about this boss fight. Are these fuck? Ah! Damn it! Damn it! Luckily, the mini games for the hacking sections are really easy at the start, but they get fucking hard later on. Believe me, you get hacked by shit. Right, let me get this real quick. Hey, but I hurt. Oh, God. What? Okay. 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 Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! The fucking arms! Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot about that shit. Oh, God, I forgot about that. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was fucking genuine terror. Oh, God, that was genuine terror for me. Oh. I'm trying to get close to hit it, but I guess that was a bad idea. Get the fuck away from me! Oh god, it's almost there, please! Oh god! Okay. Pod! Affirmative. Pod, fuck it up!
Hellraiser me Shappy. That's pretty good. So we saw a little the vision assist. there. Oh, you mean the hacking? No worries. Us scanners are pretty good at that kind of thing. I've got your back anytime. Um, it's a very near type thing. We have to, to save uh, those androids. I'm sorry, to be. Their circuits are fried. I think they were only being kept alive by that enemy. Oh. Well, feck. Um, but that's a very near thing to, like, see shit from, like, this per perspective of, like, the enemies and stuff like that. So, um... That, that'll... Let me just say that'll probably... Uh, you might see that later on, what happens with that, so... Okay. That was a fucking boss fight. She was a goddamn bitch. Let's get the fuck out of here. So, um... What is it? That machine had some pretty weird things to say, huh? It's almost like it had actual emotion. The machines don't have feelings. You said that yourself. Yeah, I... I guess. But it almost seems like they do. Hostiles. I am not hostile. Huh? You defeated broken machine. You saved us. This thing is awfully verbose for a machine. We repay you. Come to our village. It could be a trap. Still. We should at least head over there and gather data, right? All right, so we gotta follow this guy. Collect some stuff. You can talk to this like family right here. I don't know that does anything. Um. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. That's right. He takes you this back way to this new area. You basically can't come this way until he shows you this path. Have seen that before. They're sending supplies up from Earth to the moon in the bunker. There are no spare parts or fuel in space, after all. Huh. Sending shit to the moon. So, why don't the machines, or the aliens who created them, attack the bunker directly? They originally came here from outer space, right? Well, there are a few theories about that, but no one knows for sure. Hard to tell what an alien is thinking, you know? I don't know if they mentioned that before, but yeah, the the machines that are, that are that are attacking you all came from aliens that came from outer space. She... <laughs> Don't worry, the machine fish fight is way later, Chief. It's it's much, much later on. Okay, so this is the they machine have village. Flags. Looks like they really don't want to fight. Hello. Before we begin, there's something you must understand. We are not your enemies. To be! We can't trust anything the machines <laughs> say. We get it, 9S. I understand. Desire nothing more than to live a peaceful existence. Look around for yourself. 
You'll see that it's true. So this is Pascal. It's a he, I think, but it's voiced by a she. Don't ask me why. Um, but he's like one of the main characters. Well, one of the other main characters beside, but he's like probably the main machine character that you interact with. So, <coughs> so you can go around this village. There's not a whole lot to do in here right now. There. It, uh, so that's a she sure that's cares a, about her little sister, huh? It's a Still, side quest you can do. Pretty funny to hear there. machines talk about siblings. Do you think she just means they were built at the same factory or something? Maybe. Um, but that's uh that's a side quest you can do in the desert. So. I probably won't do that till next time we're there. Um, but let's see. I think the first time I was in here, you, I think you talk to all these people, but there's I don't know if there's much point. Jean Paul. Oh, I forgot about that Jean Paul. That's another character you meet in the village here. I don't think till later on, but I don't remember. Oh no, it's this guy, yeah. X. <laughs> Man is nothing but what he makes himself additionally. Oh, hello. He's talking about f fucking existence. Mumma jumbo about philosophy. <laughs> More like fans. So he is a bunch of fans you have to find throughout the map. And I think that one down there was one of his followers. Follow us. Uh, that's a that's a nice thing. There we go. Skinny cell. The okay. So talk to her. So I think so I think he said there's two other ones that you can you can find that have like letters for him. Since I'm here, I'll do this and then I'll go back to resistance. So it's just like they gave him a letter and he like feels obligated to reply to it, I think. Is what the deal is, so I believe this is the way out of here. I think. No, no, it's not. I always do this because this is the back way to an area that you can go to, but it doesn't unlock till a lot later in the game, so. Yeah, the forest castle. You'll see that later in the game, so. Dresden. Okay. I forget where I have to go. I think, I think I have to go back the way I came in, but then it's like, oh, there's a shop here. I forgot about that. 
talk to these guys. I think there's I think there's a weapon I can buy. Yeah, there's weapons. So machine sword, machine axe, and machine spear. Machine axe is a decent heavy weapon, so I'm gonna buy that while I have it. Have the money. And then um go from there. And I use up all my money, so let's get going. So yeah, I think I can yeah, yeah, that's what it is. You came from that way, that takes you back towards the the whatchamacallit, and then this takes you back down. Yeah, the thing about the soundtrack to this, Chief, is that the 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 language that's sung is not a real language. It's actually like a mix of English and various other languages that the uh, that the singer who who does a lot of the we can get into the city ruins um, and move that vocals box. she made up well she doesn't made up it's almost like it's almost just like a nonsense language almost like Simlish from Sims it's kind of like that honestly um I'm gonna do this real quick. Um, so yeah, so that's why some of the music sounds really ominous. To be here. What's wrong? Oh. There's this operator I kind of liked, but when I asked her out, she turned me down. Oh. Oh. Honestly, got turned down. I am definitely not the person to discuss this with. I don't think I can stand spending one more day in this bunker. You leaving would be bad for me. It would affect mission efficiency. Uh, uh, are you saying you need me to be? All Model B combat units require the assistance of an operator. So... Oh. That's all. Closing this channel. <laughs> he has friends. Yeah. <laughs> she kind of reluctantly has friends because she just was like, oh, I just want to do my mission. I don't care about being friends with you. Come back here again. Honestly, a lot of the first couple missions in this game are all like, do a thing, go back to resistance. Go th do another thing, go back to resistance. So, I guess it really can't be helped, but. Sure, nice weather. That's a quest you can do. I don't, I don't really have enough to buy anything right now. Let's go give her the thing that what's her name gave us? Pascal gave us, so. Viscous oil. So where's the other then oh okay. This is this appearance. Over here. There's another mission over there. Uh, oh, I know what that one is. Uh, oops. uh so it just wants me to go back to the damn village again, so Okay, well, Started transmitting to us directly. Now, do you believe we're not a threat? Your mouth can say anything it wants, but you still don't have a heart. I suppose that's technically accurate. Yes, well, 
You're free to visit our village whenever you like. So it's basically like, oh, you can you can come and visit us. We're real nice to you. Be all nice to us. Is some kind of mission you can do in here? I always forget. I think it's if you come. Yeah, that's what it is. Sorry, I kind of skipped through that really quickly. So, drone pulse melancholy. So, oh, so a lot of those are like go find. Oh, Paul, you've been asked to locate Mushi Lich Sister. Manager's request. Since I can't manage, it works the personal problem. Box that makes music when you open it and help her out. I don't remember what that's all about. Just push a 9x along. I don't know if you saw that. Okay. Just gonna save real quick. Quick save! Alright. You can do that from the main menu. You don't have to, like, quick save from a save point, so. Go talk to Pascal again, just because um, it's still pretty early on in the game, and I want to try to open up some more missions we can do. There's my moosums, buddies. Also, you, you do unlock a, uh, um, like a fast travel. You technically have it now, but you can only fat you can only travel back to the bunker. Can't really go anywhere else with it, so um But it doesn't unlock till later in the game. But it makes life a lot easier, so you brought me some oil. Uh-oh, what just happened? What's that noise? Tubi, this is an emergency transmission from the bunker. We're reading a Goliath-class enemy inside the city ruins. And it looks like there are a ton of other machines there with it. All your high units should proceed and engage immediately. But Goliath? This was a trap. I knew it! I promise you, we were not aware of this information. I realize the odds of you believing me are strikingly low, but I hope you will nonetheless. We'll sort it out later. Let's go. Alright, so there's a giant monster fucking attacking, so let's go fucking fight it. Gotta run back. I forgot that's what triggered that, so. Okay.
too so big. shit's looking kind of grim dark new flight units for us they just set the coordinates so let's get going on it so now we're gonna get into our flight units so we're running off to try to get to them Um, if you see like circles coming up on the ground, that's because uh, they're uh, they're shooting missiles at me. So if you stand too still, you get fucking shot by goddamn missiles. I don't know if it does it in all areas, but I'm trying to get some of this shit. The flight units should be on the roof of that building up ahead. It'll be dangerous, but we're not going anywhere unless we pass through that Goliath's legs. We should be careful. So, it's one of our buddies from before! The big saw blade, fuck- Oh, Jesus Christ! Don't run into the fire, you dipshit! God, we're all dead! Get the fuck out! You did the thing and I done run it! So we gotta climb this building. I believe the flight units are like on the building, on the top of the building where they landed towards the beginning of the game. And it's been like almost two weeks since I've since I've been playing this game, but yeah! damn it! Two B, displaying data on central wiring hub. Yep, that's a similar one of our buddies that we fought towards the beginning. Let's shoot the fuck out of him. Ooh. Good decent damage there. Coming up in the world. See like inside of his fucking arm there for a second. Just dashing around like a mad cunt right now. So I don't want to get fucking hit. Ah, as I fucking say that. Ah, you stupid. I'll look at comments in a second, I swear. I just want to get to the middle of this, to the halfway point of this boss fight. What I think is the halfway point. Woo. Let's get to those flight units while we can. Yeah, somehow the magic giant robots just showed up out of nowhere. They Be just careful. teleported. The skies are packed with anti-air weapons. Make sure to approach at low altitude. Copy that. That's a big laser.
Oh god! Oh shit! Should have fucking dodged that. Yeah. Don't stand in the laser, guys. Boom! That fucked him up. Target enemies offline. That should do it for the Goliaths. Look out! It's recharging! <laughs> Unbelievable. The aliens who haven't revealed themselves in hundreds of years were hiding underground? Yeah, so there's a mind fuck for you. So we found the fucking aliens, apparently. After that giant hole got blown up in the ground, they've been underground all this time. Ain't that a fucking thing? Yorha, this is your commander. For the first time in centuries, we've intercepted a signal belonging to the aliens. These are the creatures that are in direct command of the machine life forms on this planet. If we can destroy them, we can end this long and arduous war once and for all. Our intel team is hard at work attempting to analyze the source of the signal, but we're not there yet. We need more data. All Yorha units are hereby ordered to prioritize data collection above all else. We can't let this chance slip through our fingers. Glory to mankind. I used command's data to determine the signal's source and marked it on the map. Ah, shit. But it seems to be underground. Like, way underground. Guess we'll see once we get there. If okay. we're lucky. You're not much for plans, are you, 2B? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try and get over there. Do this little side mission here. Damn it! Look at that. Tree set. Okay. So... I've done a bunch of story right now. Um, let's do some side mission stuff. I feel like we haven't done a good bit. Ugh, come on. I really want to get over to this building, but it's a pain in the ass to do it. Uh, forget how I fucking do this. I know I've done it from this point before. Let me try it one more time. I might try it from that other building. Okay. Jump, jump, dash, uh, Okay, there we go. I got this guy's level 20. They're more like level 10, so you gotta kind of be careful with... I mean, they won't completely wreck you. Like, you can do... You can do pretty well, against, especially against smaller robots like this on uh, higher levels, but... So now we talk to them. We just beat the crap out of them. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Father Servo. <laughs> 
Latent path through perfection in battle. Father Servo. But alas, there's not much Father Servo capable of on his own. Perhaps he begins his spiritual journey. Sure, I'll help you. I guess we're fighting him again. You know, we just fought him. So now he wants you to bring him stuff after you beat him instead of him giving you something. Although you do get a bunch of gear and stuff for it. So, you come back to him later and he has, he kind of upgrades himself and does more shit. Okay. Let me see what else is going on here. Let's do some more side quests. Alright. Uh, that's in the... F Apple's Bell, probably. Okay, those are all... Oh, look, look, they're in. Manager's request. That's over resistance. That's an area we haven't even been to yet. That's another mission. Where is that at? That's all the way over there. No, that's the air starting area. This is the desert. There's another. That's that's the lost girl. Um, da, da, da. trying to see. Let's go here first. Let's see what this is. I don't remember what this quest is. Let's let's go this way because it's fairly close. So. Be. We picked up the signal under the caved in area. Let's go check it out. Yeah, let's wait a little bit. I appreciate your effort, though, Dinas. Okay, so he wants us to find some plug-in chips. Okay, let's go back to the map, see where those are. Current distance. Oh, okay. Oh no, that's the main quest. Okay. I think. Okay. Let me see here. No, that's not what I'm Okay. So, map. That's where it wants me to go. Uh, there's another quest over there in the traders. And that one there. 
I don't even know if we can do that one yet. There's another one there. There's a bunch more quests that open up once you get past that first section. So let me... Fuck it, I'll go back to resistance just to see. Alert. Signal code detected for missing plug-in chip. Marking approximate location on map. Oh, there's our blown up buddy. Hang on, Tubi. Hmm? This machine is still alive. So destroy it. Maybe we should hold off. Its main drive has been trashed, so there's no way it can attack us. And we might be able to learn something interesting if we study it. Suddenly you don't want to kill something, 9S? Jesus Christ. Used to be all gung-ho about killing fucking machines. Target location data obtained. Marking on map. You know, I'm still not sure any of this is a good idea. The more data we have, the better, right? We can't seem to locate the required... Ma Maybe we should ask an operator. Operator 210 here. Go ahead. 9S to operator. Quick question. Do you know where we might find a pristine screw? According to our records, that material can be obtained from the bodies of large bipedal machine life forms. Thanks, operator. 9S out. I remember seeing large two-legged machines in the desert. Let's go. So, you have to go to the desert for that, so... Don't worry about that right now. Oh, hey! Nelson, these guys actually want to fucking attack us! What's up, bitch? What the team? Holy shit. He must be under level or something. They're only like level 10, level 12. It's still pretty low. For fighting level 18s, but I don't know, we'll see. There's these gold enemies that you fight later on. And they are like really fucking difficult. Alert. Signal code detected for missing plug-in chip. It is likely in the possession of a machine life form. Oh fuck, we just died. <laughs> Shit. Um uh, Yeah, I like that. Well, let's go get our shit then. We lost all of our fucking shit. Man, I think I only ever fucking died like once or twice when I originally played this. Because usually it fucking, like, as soon as if you have certain plug in chips. <laughs> yeah, balls, exactly. Ugh, I'm so used to not fucking dying. Yorha, I... this is your commander. For the first time in centuries, we've intercepted a signal belonging to the aliens. These are the creatures Christ, that are in direct command of the machine life force. Before on the planet. thing, so we wound up if there. We can destroy them. We can end this long and arduous war once and for all. Our intel team is hard at work attempting to analyze the source of the signal, but we're not uh, there yet. I'm gonna we need more data. All Yorha units are hereby ordered to prioritize data collection above all else. We can't let this chance slip through our fingers. Glory to mankind. I use command's data to determine the signal source and marked it on the map. But it seems to be underground. Like, way underground. Guess we'll see once we get there. If we're lucky. You're not much for plans, are you, 2B? Here's the Warthogs. I don't know if we saw the Warthogs yet, so... Alert. Yeah, but the other thing is these guys have... Shit! Chip. It is likely in the possession of a machine life form. Yeah, see, these guys are a little bit tougher. Plus, they're level, like, 22. That's why they took me out so fucking damn quick. I'm gonna be a little bit more careful. Oh. 
Yeah. Balls, come on. I just want my fucking shit back. Yeah. Here's my body. All right, good. Good. Yes, I want to restore my previous equipment. All right. This must be a little bastard. It has that fucking chip. Requested plug-in chip obtained. Okay. We did that. Let's go fucking save. Let's don't lose all our fucking shit again like a dipshit. At least it was easily remedied. Although I'd probably still have to go fight that fucking guy. I think. I don't know. Uh, well, I'm gonna go talk to him. I think we probably still need to talk to him. Yeah, see, now that that, that big one attacked... Not all of these machines are just completely docile. They will attack you now. Oh, just gotta be a little bit extra careful, I guess. I might uh, level up some stuff while I'm off stream. We can't seem to locate the required material. Maybe we should ask an operator. No, okay, so it's just this again. Operator Ask the operator. Here. Okay, blah blah blah. Operator. To operator. Quick question. Do you know where we might find a pristine screw? According to our records, that material can be obtained from the bodies of large bipedal machine life forms. Thanks, operator. Nine S out. I Thanks, operator. Large two-legged machines in the desert. Let's go. Okay. Um. So that's the ang that's the big machine guy. Okay, let's go. Let's go this way to uh, the thing. I think if we go this way, we can still get to the camp, which I, yes. So let's do that. Okay, so that one is basically like go to these areas, uh, hmm. look at these, these so I can. Look familiar. One looks like the amusement park, one looks like the desert, and one looks like the forest. Let's keep our eyes open next time we're in any of those areas. Yeah, so it's basically yeah, yeah, it's basically just like find the you know where the picture is and then go do the thing. So. I'm gonna try and do this other side which I forget where I'm, what I'm supposed to do with it though. I know it's back here somewhere, but... Oh, that's why, because I'm supposed to go back there, but you can't yet. Plus, active quest. Um, okay. Hmm. 
Maybe I have to go talk to her again? I don't remember who it was that I talked to. Let's quick save real quick. Yeah, so it's definitely back in there, but Maybe, come on. There you go. Huh. Oh well. Well, at least we figure out we can't do anything with it right now. Um, mm, there. Okay, let's. So that's the big robot guy. Um, oh, that's giving that guy back the intel. That's more intel. That's the underground I need to go to. Either some more side quests. That's John Paul. That's photographs. That's a, that's a side mission. That's a side mission. That's another side mission. That's probably a Pascal side mission. Yeah, that's back in the woods. That's not even unlocked yet. Okay. Let's go through one of these. Kill some more machines just so we get some more gold and parts and shit like that. So yeah, this giant crater is just like permanently in the landscape now. It's just like a thing. We're supposed to go down into this crater to get to the main mission we wanna, we're supposed to be at right now. But like I said, as you can see, I'm a little bit under leveled. I'm gonna kinda level up a little bit here before I do anything else. Though leveling up is not a big... It is a cave caused by the collapse of an open space underground. Why is there such a huge cavern beneath the city? So we're just kind of going through this way. I don't want to get stuck down there for right now. God damn it. Ah, son of a bitch. These plant boots are not the best to try to climb up. Go, 13. Okay, let's get out of here. Fight these guys. Oh, I just realized something. I bought that axe and I haven't even used it yet. So let's do that. Large swords, machine axe. Uh, does a little bit more damage, so let's try it out. 
I fucking died again. Ah! Fuck. I love combat too much. I'm getting fucking greedy. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just finish the thing. Yes, continue. All right. Motherfucker. Damn it. Yeah, I'll probably have to do some more. Probably have to do a bit of grinding in between my next session, so. I think I kind of skipped right to the. Well, at least I saved back here, so. I didn't lose a bunch of shit. I'm just kind of going to bypass these guys because I don't want to lose all my fucking chips. There are a couple of good chips in there I really liked. Man, I just made my look myself look like a fucking scrub. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that guy right now. I want to get my fucking plug-in chips. They're over here. I hear you back there shooting at me. God damn it. Yep. Give me all my shit back. Yeah, I know. I'm just... I did so much better on my initial run of this game. And I think it's just because I was... I had leveled myself a bit more. So... I, I, I think I'm just... I think after my initial run, I was just a little bit too cocky. So... Like I, said, I just have to be a little bit more careful. And these guys, the the red and black guys are meant to be a little bit harder too. So, god damn it, I almost fucking died again. Well, that's one of them down. Uh, no, no, let's not do that. All right, so that's Requested two plug-in chips. chips obtained. Alert. The specifications of this plug-in chip are unusual. Oh? This chip is a model used exclusively by Yorha units. There is no reason for a non-Yorha android to possess it. A Yorha-only chip? Oh. 
Okay, I think this area I just passed up a little bit ago is where the third plug-in chip is so that you are supposed to find. So, let's do this without fucking dying like a bitch! too. Ugh, I hate that. the fucking extra things. Alright, yes. Fuck you so bad. Woo! Incoming message from command. All units, be on the lookout for a missing Yorha in the city ruins. This unit was in possession of several plug-in chips that contain classified information. I need you to seek out whatever intel you can regarding their current whereabouts and status. Roger. So Chips that's the classified data, is it? So that's basically the guy we were talking to. So he's got chips with data he's not supposed to fucking have. He's over here. Okay, give me the give me the give me the box. Give it give it give me the box. Huh. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Getting caught on all these polygons. Well, I don't know if I should give it to him or not. Um, screw it, I'll just give it to him. What happens if you turn them in? I don't think I did the first time, so I don't know. I don't feel like turning a motherfucker in. I ain't no snooch. I ain't no snooch. All right, let's see. Let's uh, another side mission we could do. Let's do a quest. Photographs, confidential intel. Oh yeah, you do meet up with him later, I believe. Door is torture was so tight. I think we could just go do that later. It was a personal problem. Music box. Lost girl. Let's go to the desert, because there's there's the Lost Girl mission we can do there, there's the Photograph mission, and then there's something else. Um, oh, a Pascal mission we can do there. So we'll head that way, and um... Oh, Dan Nye 3 Arios! Um, so then we'll do that, and then next time we'll, um, 
Like I said, I'll do some side mission stuff and we'll go from there. seed another thing I'll try and do um, before the next session is I'll try and find some more weapons to show you guys it's not like having weapons weapon collecting leave me alone work. jackass I can't deal with your weird hobbies anymore like I care what you think jerk Okay, I'm going to save for this because this is a little combat thing that you can do for her to help her out. So I'm going to, I'm also going to, uh, I'm also going to recover real quick. I'm going to do that and do some of that. All right. See that jerk over there? I need you to get combat data for him. Science will pay you back for this. I promise. Now, fight. <laughs> Not too bad. You, it's one of those you basically have to do missions, a couple missions in a row to like. So, you can come back to that later. I'm not going to keep doing it right now. Just because there's other shit I can do. Plus, it just gets harder and I don't want to deal with it, so. I'm still. I'm 14, but I'm still a little under leveled, so. I'd like to level up a little bit more. There's that giant bipedal machine that I gotta get that screw from for. Look at a fucking helicopter around. A fucking dipshit. So I think we fought one of these guys earlier in the in the last session and you kinda gotta get rid of his armor before you can do any real like um like range damage to him. Yeah, see like now he's he he's getting some range damage from him. He has those big armor plates on his arms that like just blocks a shit ton of damage. All right, motherfucker goes down. This takes him forever to blow up. Hopefully, that's the screw we need. That we is the screw. screw to repair that big machine. Now I think that's one of those quests where you can find that normally, but um but uh I I I think I think if you like if 
you haven't found it yet, then you can just uh, ask the operator and they just kind of give you the area of where you're supposed to go. Okay, let's, let's head out towards the empty desert part out here. Because I think that's where the Lost Girl quest is. So we'll do that. And like I said, we'll come back. I'll finish up. And then I'll just kind of do some other... I'll level up and... I'll try not to do any, like, side quests that I can find, so... Um, hello there. Hello? Testing, testing. Yeah. Pascal? Is that you? Uh, 9S. Yes, it is me. Many apologies for the sudden transmission. I heard that you were searching for the missing child, yes? Well, if you would, please consider this a personal request from myself as well. Go find the child as quickly as you can. She's such a good little girl, and so fond of her sister. She's probably somewhere around the desert at the moment. That's where she's likely to find the dented plate her sister needs. Got it. Thank you so much. And please be careful, all right? Ooh. Okay, let's see. Um, I think that's where that is. I think that's her. Yeah. So she's over this way. Is that? Right. Let's get her back to Pascal's village. How'd you get lost out here anyway? I was looking for my sister's part, but then I got scared. <laughs> oh, come on now. Don't cry. <laughs> Did you at least find what you needed? Yeah. She'll be happy, right? I'm sure she will. But I bet she'll be even happier to see you back home safe and sound. Yeah, so <laughs> Chief said, oh, she's just near the desert. Oh, that's so much help. Well, they say that, but they actually give you like a mark marker of like where she's at. No one made the desert. It's just an area that lost all its vegetation due to a lack of precipitation. This caused lasting changes in the soil, which means plants aren't able to... Soil? Uh, it's dirt. Ground. The stuff we're walking on? Just wait till you hear all this conversation. And yes, this is a fucking escort mission. Just playing around with stuff while she's walking. Wind is just a force caused by changes in temperature and atmospheric pressure and... Huh. That's actually a hard question now that I think about it. Kind of deep, really. Her asking 9S I mean, questions is fucking hysterical. What do you think, 2B? Don't know, don't care.
There's also a chip you can put in later on that, like, you don't have to physically pick shit up. You can just walk over it and it'll, like, pick stuff up for you. It might be one of the most useful plugins. Um, well, machines can't really make children. Neither can androids now that it's I think about it. It's where not as babies come, where babies come from. Uh, to be? Little help here? <laughs> huh? You're the chatty one. Work it out. Oh. Wow, it's getting late. Let's get you home already. Oh my god, it's so weird. Uh, there's a biggin. Hey, biggin. Uh, that, 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 that. Let's, let's not. Let's get away from that. I don't. I don't like any of that. I don't like you right now. You're not my friend. I don't know you. Bad touch. Bad touch. All right. Whew. A lot easier than that other one. Although he wasn't too hard either, to be honest, but. I like how this robot is like the, in the process of exploding and it just. The little girl is just walking away like nothing fucking happened. <laughs> I, th I think that's kind of the joke. It's just like because it's acting like uh, like it's a like it's a like it's a, a person like it's a little girl that it's asking all the questions like a little girl would ask like where do babies come from and and like how does the wind blow and basically <laughs> grumpy lady that's great Exhausting. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. So now we got this. So we can. Now we have a little pink ribbon on our head. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice, guys? Isn't that real nice? Isn't that just super weird? Alright. Um, oh, you know what? There's, um, that oasis area that we found early on. Um, uh, that's where, that's where one of the photos is. So let's do that. And then probably going to call it quits. And then next time I'll do... Um, I will, uh, level up some, I'll probably buy some weapons and just do some other random shit. It's just, it's not necessarily like, like actual, like side quests or anything, but I'll just, uh, I'll get some stuff done and then we'll be back here for not this Sunday, but next Sunday. Also, don't forget next Saturday. We're doing extra life stream. It's not going to be on YouTube. It will be on the Twitch channel because the Twitch channel we can set up for, um, cause, well, cause Twitch does it like that's kind of a Twitch thing anyway, but it's also, um, it's also, you can, uh, um, uh, I forget what I'm trying to say. Maybe it's not in this area. I thought this. I think this was in here somewhere. Huh. Maybe not. Hold on. Let me see. Map. Zoom out. Okay. So there's the... Oh, it's way over there. 
All right, I'm not going to worry about that. I might do that off screen. Um, we'll see. I thought that was in this because there were palm trees in this. It's basically an oil pit in here. Uh, but yeah, so Extra Life is going to be from 8 a.m. Saturday till 8 a.m. on Sunday. We're going to be doing Jackbox. We'll be doing uh, Use Your Words. We'll be doing... Um, we'll be doing Crawl. We'll be doing... Um, we'll be doing tons of retro games. We're going to start off with a bunch of retro games. I'll be playing, um, I'll be playing, uh, Demon's Crest. I'll be playing Game Gear Games, uh, towards the end of the night. Holy shit, what the fuck is that thing? Oil Sardine? I want to see if we can find something else stupid. We'll do this for a few minutes until I finish up. Um, but yeah, so, so, uh, we'll be doing that. Um, what else will we be doing? Um, tons of stuff. Uh, crawl. Uh, we might be doing Octodad. We're going to do a bunch of other... We're doing the... The big thing we're doing this year is we're doing the, the World Catch Series of Baseball point. Stars 2. Um, which is basically... We're going to be doing... Um, we're going to be doing... Um, there's going to be six of us. We'll be doing a tournament style of Baseball Stars 2 games. We'll all have different teams. Um, and that's going to be a lot of fun, too. Um, you can... You can <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> this weird-ass fucking fish out here. Um, you, can, you can make bets. Uh, if you, uh, you can, if you donate, you can bet to who's going to win... The ba Ultimate Baseball Stars 2. And if you do that, then you can win prizes. We'll be giving away t-shirts, some other stuff. Maybe some games. Maybe some codes. We'll see We'll see what we want to do with that. Um, Report. Fresh. Uh, some other stuff. Um, uh, I think we're doing either MKX or Injustice 2. Um... We're doing all sorts of shit, and Hellboy just came out for that, so we'll be doing that. Um, I'll be playing a game called Immortal Redneck, which is basically a first-person roguelike that's set in a friggin' pyramid, and it's super weird and crazy. Um, we'll have a full schedule out. Um, there's kind of a... The, the, the partial schedule's up right now. Um, it's got a couple holes in it. Um Complete. But it's it's pretty f it's looking like it's going to be a good time, so everything's going to be going to Children's uh, Hospital of Pittsburgh, um, which uh, I'm an EMT, and the company that I work for actually um, does has a does a lot of work with the hospital, Children's Hospital, because we do a lot of work with uh, it's called the Children's Home that do a lot of, you know, like babies with birth defects and heart problems and that are like, uh, they're oh, basically like preemies and stuff like that. So, um, I help, I, you know, I do a lot of work out of there. So, uh, you know, it's all going to a good cause. Um, and we hope to see you there. Um, I will be, I plan on streaming next Sunday, not tomorrow, but next Sunday, I'll, I hope to be streaming unless something else happens, but even after Extra Life, I'll come and stream for a couple hours for you guys, um, if you want to come see me stream, and I hope to see you then, and, uh, <laughs> I wish there was a DLC where, where he explains life, um, the, the, the DLC for this is extensively weird. Um, it's basically just like an arena that you can like do fights in, but it's post game. Uh, but it's also some of the weirdest shit you'll ever fucking see. Um, and it, I don't really want to give it away cause it's so weird. Um, oh, I just found a fucking battery garbage. garbage. That's a good hypothesis pod. Um, so yeah, so, um, 
I really hope you got you guys come out to that um, chunk, uh, Chunky Chief. Uh, uh, I can I can assume we'll see you there for at least a little Report. bit of it. That is so Unknown weird. Object. Um, so I hope to hope to see you come out come and um, uh, it, it'll be a good time. Um, yeah, we'll be putting up more stuff. Um, I'm trying to think what else we're gonna be playing. Um, I think we got some beat 'em up stuff in there. I don't remember. Um. Oh god, I'm just blanking on a lot of the games we're playing. Uh, might be playing uh, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time, which that video just came out pretty soon. Um, also, uh, I'll tell you this right now, there's a video that might be coming out that might be called the Best of the Versus uh, series. So, look out for that coming soon. Uh, Tom's been doing a bunch of edits of like the best of best of stuff. And it's fucking hysterical. Um, cause some of the moments, uh, are like some of the funniest moments we've ever had. So I really hope to see you guys there. Um, and I'll see you next time. I'll see you at, I'll see you at Extra Life, uh, on Saturday. Remember 8 a.m. to 8, 8 a.m. the next day. And then, um, you know, 6 to 8 p.m. Um, uh, next Sunday for more near uh, i'll do some grinding and stuff and uh in between and uh i'll see you guys next time uh thanks a bunch i'll talk to you next time